Hello everyone, today we're going to be making the freshest, most delicious, low calorie, macro friendly Mina burritos. This meal is specifically designed for your average gym goer who is just trying to lean down while also holding on to as much muscle as possible. That means that this meal is going to be high in protein, high carb, low fat, all while trying to keep the caloric content to a bare minimum. We're going to be pairing all the ingredients today in bulk so that we can meal prep for the rest of the week. The recipe is going to make about 10 burritos, so this is perfect for two burritos a day during the work week. Here's the nutritional content for one whole burrito. We have 21 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, just 4 grams of fat, all for a total of 300 calories. In addition, we're also going to have 18 grams of fiber, a whole serving of vegetables, as well as a ton of vitamin and minerals from all of the fresh ingredients we're using, all of which I'm going to get into at the end of the video. Before we get started, I'm going to head to my local grocery store to pick up some items I don't have. For the recipe, here's a quick list of what we're going to need. We're going to need three chicken breasts, two cans of cooked black beans or a bag of uncooked black beans, one and a half cups of uncooked basmati rice, 10 low calorie six inch tortillas, a bag or a box of grape tomatoes, one red onion, some cilantro, a leafy green like a spring mix, some garden salsa, and taco season. For the beans, I do recommend going with a bag of uncooked beans because it's much cheaper and it's easier to prepare in bulk. However, if you don't want to go into that extra effort, that's totally fine. Just keep in mind that the sodium content in canned beans might be a little bit higher than your bag ones. We definitely want to go with a lower calorie tortilla for this recipe. I was able to find a tortilla with a third of the calories of a similar size flour tortilla. This will really help in bringing down the overall calorie content of the meal. When choosing a salsa, I do recommend going with a higher quality one, like ones you might see on the top shelf, just because this really helps with the overall flavor profile of the meal. For the onion, any red onion will do. I prefer this to a white onion because white onions can tend to overpower whatever you put them in. To start off the recipe, we're going to begin by cooking the black beans. Again, if you want to prepare this in bulk, I do recommend buying a bag of uncooked beans. If you want to go this route, you can pour an entire bag into a crock pot and then make sure you fill the crock pot up with water enough to fill all the beans. You can also add some salt and even some garlic to this if you'd like. I prefer to cook them for eight hours on low. However, if you're short on time, you can cook them for four hours on high. But again, if you just want to eat right now, going with a can of black beans is totally fine. Next, let's cook our rice. Put one and a half cups of rice in a pot with three cups of water. After bringing it all to a boil, let it simmer on low for 20 minutes to cool it off. After getting the rice to cook, let's fire up the grill and cook our chicken breasts. I prefer to season this with any general grilled chicken seasoning. However, if you want to use the taco seasoning that we bought, you can use that as well. While the chicken, rice, and beans are cooking, let's go ahead and cut up our vegetables and cilantro. Dice an entire red onion and three great tomatoes. We can save the rest of the red onion for later in the week by throwing it in the fridge. However, as I said earlier, I do like to cut the tomatoes whenever I'm ready to eat, just so that they're as fresh as possible, as opposed to storing them in the fridge cut. Cutting up the cilantro is simple. Just go ahead and cut off as much of the stem as possible, and then chop up all the leaves into very small pieces. You can refrigerate all this later in the week as well. Now that everything is cooking and we've chopped up all of our vegetables, we can make our own taco seasoning. If you want to save some time, again, you can just buy this from the store. However, I do prefer to make my own, just so I can tweak the recipe to my own liking. If you want to make your own, we're going to need a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, a whole tablespoon of chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and finally, just a pinch of salt and pepper. Combine all of this into a bowl or a jar to store for later. All right, but now our chicken should be done cooking. When cutting it into pieces, I do prefer to cut it into very small cubes, just so that we can make sure it's spread evenly throughout the burrito and leave a chicken in every single bite. By now, everything is ready to be combined in the burrito. If you're reheating this meal after preparing everything, Start by microwaving the rice, beans, and chicken in a bowl, and then add it to the burrito. Next, you can add the leafy greens, onions, tomatoes, and cilantro. 
Finally, top it off with the salsa and taco seasoning. Wrap it up by folding in the ends and enjoy. Now there are several health benefits with this meal. We're getting a lot of protein in this meal with 20 grams per burrito. This is plenty to begin muscle protein synthesis, especially if you consume two burritos at once. We're also getting 60 grams of high quality, unprocessed, low glycemic carbs. Low glycemic carbs absorb into the bloodstream slower than high glycemic carbs. So this is great for sustained energy throughout the day, further away from your workout. We're also getting an entire serving of vegetables. It is recommended that Americans get 10 servings of fruit and vegetables per day. So eating two of these burritos puts you 20% of the way towards your goal. As far as the vitamin and mineral content goes for this meal, the list is very long, but here's a shortened list to just give you an idea of how much you get with just one burrito. We're getting 30% of our daily intake of vitamin B1 and B3, 35% of our daily intake of vitamin C, 80% of our vitamin A intake, and on the mineral side, we have 30% of our phosphorus intake and 40% of our daily iron intake. Again, the full list is much longer, which you can find on the attached document at the bottom of this video. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoy the food, and I will see you later.